welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial on how I achieve these big bouncy curls. Um, these curls last all day. I do, literally don't use any hairspray. You can, if, obviously, if you want to, but I don't need to use any hairspray with these curls. They last so long and you literally look like you just stepped out of the salon. I love my hair like this. I will not curl my hair any other way. I love these curls. So, if you want to know how to achieve these curls, carry on watching and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm just starting with a day old hair. Um, I washed it yesterday. I washed and blow dried my hair yesterday and it's been up since, so it needs a brush. Um, but I'm just starting with my hair like this. Just going in with this brush. I'm not sure, I don't think it's branded or anything. Um, it's just a really kind of a sharp bristle brush. I find this gets through my extensions um, really well. Um, so I just use this brush. It actually came in my hairdressing college kit, but I have seen it in Superdrug, so I know you can buy it in it. But um, yeah, the, bris the bristles are just really kind of nice and hard gets through my extensions really nicely, gets all the knots out. Um, so obviously I first start with just brushing my hair. Um, I have parted it, but just brushing my hair, get through all of the knots and everything. Um, yeah, so for anyone curious, I use, uh, I wear the Beauty Works hair extensions in the shade Arctic Blonde. I go in with the Tresemme um, heat, heat Defense Spray. Um, this one seals in shine. Um, I use whatever heat, whatever heat protectant really, this was just the one I picked up. Um, but yeah, wherever heat protectant, just make sure you are using it obviously if you are using heat, no matter what heat you use, make sure you do have a heat protectant. So I just go in and I kind of just spray it from a distance into my hair. So then what I do is I take a nice big butterfly clip and I just push my hair back and I section my hair just above the ears. Um, I don't do loads of little sections I just kind of take, I do it in three sections really. So I just kind of section it just with the ears, twist it and clip it on top of my head. I then split that into two. I'm gonna clip it just out the way of you. There, just so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I then obviously split it into the two sections, bring it forward, give it another little brush. I then go in with the Tresemme um, barrel the Tresemme Barrel Curler. I'm not sure what the actual name of this barrel trap is, but I'll try and find it and link it down below for you. Um, I don't actually use this as a tong, I use it as a wand. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. I just put it up all the way and yeah, so this is it. I also use the these little clips. Um, I just bought them from Primark and I literally a pack for a pound. So yeah, so I just grab my curler, just kind of comb through a section with my fingers. I take quite large sections, probably about an inch, about an inch um, wide. And then I take it round the back of my head and I literally just wrap it around. I don't use it as a tongue. Um, so as you can see the tong is just lying flat and I just wrap it straight around my head, around my hair, um, hold it for a couple of seconds and then I let it drop into my hand. I don't let the curl drop all the way down purely because um, if you let it drop um, it cools, it starts to cool so you want this dropped so then your curls don't last as long. So what I do, I let it drop into my hand. I then roll it up right up to my root. I shut my floor. 
I <laughs> grab one of these clips and just clip that up like that into a bit of a pin curl. What doing that um, basically just kind of lets the curl cool down, still in that shape. Um, so obviously then when you drop it, it's much bouncier and it lasts much longer as well. Also, the reason I go in with my hair kind of a day old is purely because when it's freshly washed, my hair will not kill. It'll not hold, it won't kill properly, and it's kind of a waste of time really. So then again, just repeating that, rolling it up, grabbing a clip. And oops, it's coming out. It is a little bit fiddly to kind of get used to at first. But make sure you clip it right at the root. And obviously it'll just stay there then. So then I grab the next section again about an inch wide. Just come it through my fingers. Obviously you can really see here kind of where this extension has grown down. Oh, I, really, I need to my hair so bad. Um, and then I'll just go and curl it, wrap it round, hold it for a couple of seconds. And just drop it into my hand and remove the curler. Be really, really careful not to burn yourself, obviously around your face, your ears and your neck, obviously it's so easy to catch yourself and I do it, I've done it hundreds of times, I do it all the time. Just grabbing a clip, clipping that at the root. Um, but yeah, just really, really try not to burn yourself. Um, you should, I should really be using a heat glove so I don't burn my hands as well. Um, but I've actually lost mine, so when you do get a curler, try to not lose yours so you prevent yourself from burning yourself okay so now then the next section i don't even know if i've mentioned which way i wrap my hair actually um <laughs> so i just wrap it away from my face so just that way away from my face around the barrel um personally i just find this much more flattering and I actually wrap all of my hair away from my face. Um, I always used to wrap my hair kind of one this way, one that way, one this way, one that way. But, ow, I now find um, with my extensions, I find it looks much better when I kind of curl it all the same way. Um, I don't, I think it's because I kind of mostly wear my hair kind of over my shoulders, kind of around the front. Um, so obviously it just looks much more almost windswept and kind of piercing much nicer when it's kind of all going away. Um, it looks more like princess here. Um, yeah, so I just leave those in, pull the next section down and I just section it kind of at just above my temples here. And just section that. And then pull all of this forward. Give it a little brush, obviously, because it's been wrapped up on the top of your head. I again, literally just go in with one inch sections. I take it a little bit wider for this front section purely because of how short these front pieces are. I just like to kind of make sure I have an extension in with it just because I find it kills easier and it lasts longer to be honest.
I've actually look a bit crazy um, but I've run out of those clips so I'm literally just gonna have to use some hair grips or bobby pins whatever they call them. So literally it doesn't need to be any special it doesn't need to be any specific clip I, I do prefer using those ones from Primark just purely because they have a better grip of the hair and they don't leave a mark um, like they don't like dent your hair but it doesn't really matter so I need to buy more but obviously you know shops are closed so I can't which is really 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 annoying but there we are we have to deal we have to do it really so I'm just gonna roll that up and I'm just gonna grab just one of these little tiny clips I call them grips but I know lots of people call them bobby pins and I'm just gonna push that in and it ho see it holds the exact same way okay so I'm gonna move on to the top of my head and I'm just gonna make sure that's fitting my part in I look like an absolute crazy lady right now um, but there we are just gonna brush that out so I like to see this very frontal piece just in its own little piece by itself Again, give it a little bit. now I look crazy um, there are a couple of curls just peeking out just the ends obviously just where I've had to use the grips instead just because they don't hold it quite as well like they don't hold it quite as tight but that's okay it's fine um, I'm just gonna let these top ones cool down and I'll be back to take them all out so now I'm literally just going to start from where I started and I'm just going to take the clips out. So now all I do is Make sure the pattern's in the right place. If you have hair that kind of is particularly hard to curl or does not like to keep their curl, hairspray before you take them out. But I find I really, really don't need to. So then, everyone always looks at me like I'm bonkers when I do this. But I go in with my brush and I literally brush straight through all of the curls everyone looks at me like I'm bonkers because they all say no do not brush your curls they're just gonna drop they're just gonna go straight but this this is the key to having them look how you want that bit really big bouncy curl so I'm just gonna Kind of play with my part in a little bit just get it kind of to sit how i like it to and then i'm going to brush through the ends one more time go through with my hands you can go with just your hands and like not like not use the brush but I find it kind of makes them much, look much more separated 
and I just personally prefer the big like Hollywood bouncy curls. So here is the final look. So you can literally just brush them as much as you want and they literally just bounce straight back into place with a super, super effortless bouncy curls and just like move your hair around however you like it, however you want it and yeah you can give them a little hairspray at the end but honestly, honest god I find my hair just lasts so well. I don't know if you see extensions um, but yeah so that's it. I hope you love them as much as I do. I literally will not curl my hair any other way. Now, um, I adore the way my hair turns out every single time. And yeah, it's so kind of, they're so soft as well. Like um, your hair doesn't feel like it's in these little spirals and it doesn't feel stuck and it doesn't feel like you can literally play with your hair as much as you want. And I find they don't move anyway. They do not go anywhere. So that's them. I hope you love. Um, I literally, every time I kill a hair like this, I literally feel like I'm ready to do anything really. I, they literally just look so like professionally done. Like you've literally just stepped out the salon. Um, they're so big, bouncy, I love them. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want me to do more like hair tutorials because I really, I would love to. Um, but yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll link the curlers, I'll link these curlers below for you all um, because they're incredible, absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of my face and hit the bell button below as well so you never miss an upload and yeah i really hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye